it's spring is really sprung I've got to be really quiet to show you this desert iguana it's not what you're thinking of like a regular iguana this is a Mojave desert iguana Let's see where is he can you see him you can barely see his tail Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scott here. Scotty's Animals. You know, I had this idea because I think a lot of people are cooped up, me included, but I have this really kind of special circumstance where I'm out here in the desert and it's springtime and the flowers are blooming and the animals are coming out and I thought what a wonderful time to go on an adventure you know this isn't gonna really have anything to do with guinea pigs but it will I'm gonna see what kind of animals I can find out there but really I'm going for I'm hunting wildflowers. Um, lot, if you watch my videos, you'll notice that they tend to be fairly edited. You know, I don't go crazy with the editing, but you know, I try to be as concise as possible. But in this video, this is going to be a really long video and it's gonna be an adventure and I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know who, I'm gonna see out there, but I figured I'm gonna get on the desert highway out here and I'm gonna head east and I'm gonna be just up on the edge of Joshua Tree National Park, which happens to be closed right now because of the whole, just like everything, it's, uh, I don't know if it's a, the quarantine thing, but, um, so I'm gonna head out. I'm feeling good, you guys. I've been completely isolated for weeks now. I've gone to the store twice, but I haven't been to the store in about two weeks. The only place I've been is to the post office, and I go in with a mask, and I drop off uh, any packages, and then I wash my hands, and, uh, you know, I don't touch anything. I've been going in with a mask and everything. I don't want to talk about that because as long as I avoid man-made things like handrails and doorknobs, the desert, and as long as I stay away from other people, this beautiful desert is exploding with life right now. And I thought, you know, why don't I show you guys because some of you guys are probably cooped up in an apartment and even if you could go out to the park, it's not the same as just being able to get in the car and go. So I thought, why don't you guys come with me? I'm really grateful to be able to be out here. You know, it's kind of a lonely life out here sometimes, but <laughs> we're all really lonely now. The only difference is now there's just, there's no possibility really for um, physical contact. Phys you know, I can't even go to the rescue and facilitate adoptions. Um, I say hi to my neighbor who, you know, lives 500 feet over there and, you know, we have to keep our distance and it's just crazy. So anyways, we're gonna put that behind us for right now. Why don't you guys come along with me? We're gonna head out into the desert. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset. Uh, and I'm gonna have a, a little surprise for you when, when the sun sets. So come with me. Who knows, we might be able to see some lizards, some bunny rabbits, maybe some coyotes, who knows? If you've watched some of my other videos, like if you've watched the video about uh, hunting for Jade to support the guinea pig sanctuary, I'll put that video here then you'll know that we saw a coyote in that video. So let's go, let's go. Enough yappy, yappy, yapping. But the fun thing about this video is gonna be if I say something crazy or if I misspeak or whatever, it's gonna be a long video and I don't wanna spend the next five days editing it. I wanna just put it out there. So uncut, 
Here we go, let's go. So I just walked out my front door. There's a really bright sunshine and there's a glare. So I can't even see if I'm filming this bunny or not. We'll see later when I turn the lights out. Can you see? Right there, that's a, a cottontail rabbit. There he goes! <laughs> oh my gosh. So just walking by and look, look, this desert iguana is trapped this buddy, buddy, hold on, hold on, hold on, come here, come here. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is a baby desert iguana. Look, he's got algae on his face. I really need to empty this out. I put a rake right here so that anybody that fell in here would be able to climb out, but he didn't discover it. Oh my gosh. This is a desert iguana that I was trying to film before. Hey, little buddy. I'm healthy. Let me see if I can get a good shot of him. Let me turn the camera around. Oh my goodness. Buddy, you have algae all over your face. Look at him. He's not very big. This is my messy side area. Here, buddy, let's wash your face off real quick. I'm gonna just put the phone down here for a second. I can't believe he's letting me hold him. He's got algae all over his face. Let's use the water from the hose. Are you okay, buddy? Are you okay? Are you scared? This is so cool. Okay. There you go, bud. Oh, that's working. I'm getting my phone wet too. There you go. Hey. <laughs> my phone is soaking wet now. <laughs> He's being so calm. Look at his pretty eye. Here, I'm gonna zoom in. I try to zoom into his his eye. Hello, Mister. Man, we're already off to a good start. Except I feel bad because he almost. I don't think he would have drowned because it wasn't that deep. Hey, buddy. Hello. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. You could be my best friend now. Just don't tell BB. Okay, let's get you out of here. Let's get you out of here. Are you the one that I saw earlier? He's so handsome, look at the sunshine. Wow, this is so cool. This is a desert iguana. You okay, buddy? Are you tired? Look, he's breathing. Look at his beautiful scales. Look at those scales, so pretty. Here, I'm gonna zoom in again. So handsome. That'd be a cool thumbnail. Desert Adventure. Okay. Where do you want to go? You want to go back on this side? This is where you were before. Oh man, I'm so... This is uh, really lucky. I, I feel like I gotta put a, another board or something in that little pond area. You okay, buddy? So, sorry for the shaky cameras, you guys. I will try to trim it a little bit. Oh, and there's that little red bird. These are house finches. I haven't even left my house. What's the point? There he goes. These are house finches. They're, the male is red. Dude, how you doing? Are you mad at me? Look, you can see like his little vent thing. Are you mad at me? Oh. Yay. Hey, buddy. I just washed my hands <laughs> about a hundred times today. I think it's just because he was drowning or struggling to get out that he trusts me. 
Hey, buddy. Although I have seen other people on social media being able to pick them up. But every time I get close, they run like crazy. Look at this tail. Look at this tail. Hey, buddy. Oh. Are you okay? I'm gonna let you down. Cause I gotta go on an adventure. We're looking for, we're gonna be looking for wildflowers. Look at this quarantine hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's the house. That's the corner of the house. Okay, buddy. This is honestly a dream come true to be able to do this. But it's not fair. He's wild. You're cold. Let me see this face up close. He's a handsome boy. You can see these wildflowers right here. Yeah, it's like I don't want this magic to end. Because this will probably be the last time I ever get to hold a desert iguana. Unless I was to, like, steal him from the wild and keep him in captivity, but I would never do that. No, never. I'm going to let you down, okay, buddy? Can you guys see his feet? Look at those feet. Look at all feet. Ah, in the comments, let me know what you think his name should be. But I'm not going to keep him. Thank God for all this space. Otherwise, I'd be going insane. No, you know, I would probably make it through just like you guys. Okay. I don't know if this is the same one I saw earlier. I'm going to put you down here. <laughs> don't climb up on me. Come on. Come on. Here you go, buddy. He blends in really well with the ground, doesn't he? Look at that tail. Man, what an awesome video. Thank you, buddy. I'm sorry about the pond. I'm gonna cover that right now, okay? Okay, go on. Go on. There you go, bud. There he goes. <laughs> okay, I hope that does it for now. Basically, I had this side and this side of the pond. And this side was a waterfall, but... There was just a number of problems that there's no point in going into now. But I do have to pump this water out. I really got to dismantle this whole thing for that exact reason that I don't like these animals falling in here and getting stuck. But this is rainwater. Okay. Let's go. Do it again. Oh. Baby, you're spoiling us. Keep going. I love when he does this with his big feathers. Keep going. Baby's been molting, which means... 
he's losing his feathers from last season and he's growing all sorts of new feathers and it's not really the most comfortable for birds. I love you, BB. Are you chilling, Billy? Billy, I'm about to go for a little drive. Hey, Nails. Nails, I'm gonna go for a drive. Will you hang out with Piggy Smalls for a little bit? Then we gotta clean under, under your hutch, you guys. We gotta spot clean that area, because it is funky. Okay. Oh, look who's getting along. Oh, you were getting along. Hi, Mikey. Yes, you were, Dice. You can't lie to me. We saw it. You love him. And you love him, too. There's a red bird in there. Oh, there they go. There they go. Well, those are little, those are the little house finches. If you Google house finch, you can see the boys red and the girls are gray. Oh, and look at, there's a butterfly going. Hopefully we'll see a lot of butterflies. This is a nest that's been occupied by the house finches for about th three years, three seasons now. Not three seasons, but three springs. And there were definitely babies born last year. <laughs> it's twigs and grasses and stuff, and it's held together by poop. Who knew that these birds had so much in common with guinea pigs? <laughs> this is my driveway. And back over here, behind this beautiful dumpster, is the... 29 Palms Marine Combat Center. It's a, the Marine base. And the reason why my house is so affordable is because they're dropping bombs uh, weekly. Uh, some seasons they're dropping bombs all day long for multiple days in a row, even after midnight sometimes. I've seen back here the sky light up with flares and then you just hear like last night I was hearing bop, 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 it's like yeah thank you Marines um, in the middle of a pandemic what better time to uh, you know practice your machine gun fire Ooh, look at this there's these little ground squirrels I don't know I think he ran into the hill, the, the under the bush. They're everywhere. And here, you can see how treacherous, well, I guess it doesn't look bad, but sometimes this whole road can wash out. And uh, in my little Honda Fit, it can be hard to get through. See right there, it's really soft sand. Now, I don't want to get too close, and I probably shouldn't because I don't want to freak these guys out. Roll the window up here. But right up here, right up here, is the gate. This is like the back gate to the base. So I don't want to go and freak them out. Because I'll be like, who is this dude? What's he doing? Um, but I just want to show you, wow, look how, um, you know, look, look how close we are to the Marine base. All right, let's turn around and get on the road. So it's not just nature that's really cool out here. There's also some art. Now, I'm sure this place is closed and it's, it's uh, this is um, someone's actual home. But this place that I'm about to show you is called the Glass Outhouse. And it's a really amazing uh, family run art gallery. It's an art gallery that you can actually buy some stuff here too. So let me just show you from the edge of the road what they've got going on. And I'm sure they, maybe they have a website. They're an older couple, but I'm not sure.
check this out. So this is the glass outhouse. And there's so many cool things to see here. I think it's right here. Maybe it's maybe it's over there. Maybe this is all this together, but look, there's a dragon and like a spaceship and an elephant. Um I definitely don't want to impose. But if you're ever out here, and back here, these mountains, this whole area back here is within the national park. Is that a giraffe back there? There's so much crazy cool stuff to see out here. It's really beautiful. There is an indoor gallery with paintings, and I guess it's over there. Um, and maybe this is just their neighbors or maybe they have the whole property. I'm not sure and I don't really want to bug them. And look, I'm stepping over all of these wildflowers. This is where we're going to what we're going to go try to find. Look at this pretty pink one's about to explode. And I guess it's the same as this. Really beautiful. Some yellows. So this is just right along Highway 62, just east of 29 Palms. So here you go. The Wayside Chapel is open 24 hours. Now, I don't think anything is open right now, and I would just leave them alone, you know, because everyone's dealing with stuff. But if you get a chance to come out here and check out the Glass Outhouse, I highly recommend it. There's an indoor gallery and there's also lots of outdoor interesting sculptures and fun things to see. And the couple that runs it, they are extremely nice and friendly. And it's just something cultural that you can do before you head into the park. So this is only about five miles from the 29 Palms entrance to Joshua Tree National Park. Look at that, it's beautiful, huh? Okay, let's go. Big old salt flat out there. We're starting to really leave the city behind now. Right down here is where I found the jade. Just gotta go a mile or so down this road. There's that kiosk right there. Tells you all about the history of this area. But we're, we're gonna keep going east. Look, you can really see the salt flats from here. I don't know what that structure is. And look at all these wildflowers. Let's go check them out. Man, I could smell these wildflowers from across the road. Look at these ones. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Then you got these little yellow ones. I need like a wildflower guide. Then of course there's these little pretty white flowers. Look at that in the the setting sun, how pretty is that? I thought, I think we have enough time to actually head over there. There's a road that takes you right into there, I think. If there is one, then why don't we take it? We got a, a little while before sun sets. What's this? Uh, <laughs> some pretty fluffy thing. I don't think it's necessarily, is it? I wonder if it is related to this other flower or if it just kind of is like opportunistic. Look at these flowers though. Man, that is just pow. There's no, no filter on this. 
Pow! <laughs> We got these flowers, but I wanted to show you this big white tall flower thingy. Burr, burr. Maybe he's gonna honk for me. Oh, I did the universal honking sign, but he was not entertaining it. Look at this. So I do have a few of these in my yard. I saw them. They haven't sprouted this thing yet. Look at this. What is this? A lily? Look at that flower. Talk about epic awesomeness beautiful I'm surrounded we got pretty lucky there was a couple really good rains last week the week before and I wouldn't say that this is like a super bloom but it's like a super sidekick bloom so you got your superhero and then you got your sidekick so it's not like a, a batman bloom but it's more like a robin bloom i don't even know what i'm talking about anymore <laughs> so if you look here's another one of these flowers where we'll just call them lilies because i don't know anything about flowers really there's another pair another two there's another one and there's a whole bunch more over here and I think they just keep going and going and going. So anyways, let's go to this salt flat. There may even be still moisture there. All right. There's my little, my little fit. If you guys are looking for a small hatchback with a lot of cargo space, I definitely recommend the fit. This desert adventure is not brought to you by Honda Fit. Well, I guess it technically is since it's my chariot. Man, I can't even begin to tell you how flowery it smells out here. It smells so nice and flowery. <laughs> You're a towel. Yeah, we're getting close to a sunset. Can't really see that it's, uh, there's still a mountain back there. Can you see that? It is kind of a shame that no matter how good these cameras are, they're not as good as what we can see. And you know that guy. That's the moon. Well, there goes the sun. But we still have some light for a little bit. See how close I can get to this salt flat. This road's looking pretty washed out and pretty uh, soft, so I think this might be as far as I'm gonna go. That person looks stuck. Man, oh man. Maybe I should walk down there and see if they're okay. They had their flashers on for a second. I don't have any ability to help pull them out, but I could go, man, it's like a mile, because I don't want to get stuck, but I could go talk to them, even though I had a special surprise, and uh, I can still do it even if it's in the dark, and I'd rather, here's the important thing in life, here's some Scotty wisdom, no matter what your stupid plans are that you think are really important, in an emergency, and if someone or some thing, some animal needs help, that's what you gotta do is you gotta help. Now, if this person's stuck, I can call. Maybe they don't have a, a phone or something. Maybe they thought that I was uh, 
AAA or something. So I can call a tow truck or somebody, um, at least let someone know that they're here. But yeah, if you look at this road, it gets really ruddy right here and I wouldn't want to get stuck myself. In fact, I know I would get stuck in this, no doubt, no doubt. And look, they're in like a little crappy car too. I just mean, not a four wheel drive. You need four wheel drive out here if you're gonna do exploring like this. Man, I can barely walk in this sand. Look at how, see how soft it is? Okay, so I'm gonna be a good Samaritan for a little bit and then I'm gonna let you guys in on my little surprise. Don't get too excited, it's nothing crazy, but it'll just be a nice way to end this video. Look at the moon. Yeah, nice guy. Him and his buddy were out here and they're actually from Mississippi, not far from where my uncle lives. But they uh, got in over their head. Anyways, he has a buddy that's coming not for not for an hour or two but I also did post this location and uh, on Facebook has a, a group for basically what's happening around here and so I posted the uh, a screenshot of the map of where we are and asked if anybody with four-wheel drive would come out you know it's a long shot maybe nobody will but at the same time, you never know. But uh, he's okay. Trying to keep my six feet away. I don't know if uh, <laughs> being by yourself for weeks on end is... Um, It's strange, but maybe it's stranger to uh, have to do all this social distancing when you're interacting with somebody. Because it's like, I'm not going to shake his hand and he's getting like closer and closer and I'm stepping back and I will be happy when all this is over. <laughs> it's... Uh... Everyone says, oh, I'm an introvert. Sure, by choice. But when you don't have a choice, then you realize how, how much uh, you miss people and how much social creatures we really are. And if I didn't have you guys, if I didn't have the channel, well, then I'd just be talking to myself right now, which wouldn't be, <laughs> it wouldn't be any different, really. Just a guy walking in the desert by himself, talking to himself. All right, so I mentioned that there's a surprise. So I gotta turn this phone off because I only have a little bit of battery power left. I do have a charger in the car, which is fully charged. So I'm gonna shut it off here and then charge up the phone. And luckily, it was, uh, it's about 70 degrees right now. That's why I can wear this tank top and feel real comfortable. Man, springtime in the desert is incredible. If you guys ever get a chance to come out here I mean honestly the thing about the desert is in the summer when it's 115 degrees all night long it's like 79 degrees with like the most beautiful stars you'd ever see and in the winter it could be you know 35 40 degrees at night really cold I mean not Ooh, look at that that's a hawk feather I think I'm pretty sure that's a hawk feather Kind of a funky, dirty hawk feather. Probably have to go wash my hands. Good thing I've got some sanitizer in the car. I'm gonna leave this hawk feather right there like that. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the weather in the desert. Well, what I was trying, what I was getting at is that during the year, depending on the season, it's perfect. In the summer and the winter, it's perfect for half the night 
or half the day. And in the spring and the fall, it's perfect all the time. But even in the dead heat of the summer, the nights are incredible. And even in the cold of the winter, the days are beautiful. The weather, the, the clouds, you get clouds almost like it's San Francisco out here in the wintertime. Okay, I'm totally rambling. I said this was going to be a long video. Look at the, the sunset over here. Hold on. Let's get this camera to adjust. Beautiful. Come on. Focus. That's about what it looks like right now. <sighs> this is the first time in weeks that I've gone anywhere besides either the post office or the grocery store. That's it. And even the grocery store was just like really quickly, right, with gloves and a mask and the fear of God in my... <sighs> All right. <laughs> hey, guys. I have the camera stuck in a creosote bush with the charger dangling. And this is about as much sun set as we got left. Now, full disclosure, I am not a harmonica player. And this is an old crappy harmonica that I got off of eBay. It is a Honer Marine band harmonica, but I don't really know how to play it. So I'll try to focus on the guitar. And this is a Martin Backpacker guitar that I modified a little bit. What does that look like? All right, here we go. I'll just stand right here. Just realized that with this harmonica in my mouth, I can't even see the guitar like I normally would. Maybe I gotta put it off to the side here. How about that? See that airplane? You guys hear it?
Stay safe, you guys. I love you guys so much. We're going to get through this.